Buenos dias a todos. My name is Carlos Menchaca, City Council Member and Chair of the Immigration Committee. I want to thank the members uh, who are joining us this morning uh, from Manhattan, Council Member Chin. From Queens, we have Council Member Moya and Council Member Drum. And last month, the Committee on Immigration, along with the Committee of on Justice System, chaired by my colleague, Council Member Lansman, held an oversight hearing titled ICE Out of New York Courts. We also heard a resolution, Resolution 828, co-sponsored by myself and Chair Lansman, calling on the state legislature to pass and the governor to sign the Protect Our Courts Act. A.2176, uh, the Senate Bill 425, in order to protect certain interests, parties, or people from civil arrest while going to remaining at or returning from the place of such court proceeding. At our ICE out of courts hearing, we heard extensive reports of the ID from IDP, Bronx Legal Services, and many of the other social and legal service providers that have seen clients affected by this policy daily. They discussed an extensive 80-page report which they put together documenting how ICE courthouse arrests impact the criminal justice system. And an incredible thing happened after that hearing. Because of the continued fierce advocacy of these organizations, the Office of Court Administration issued a new court rule on April 17th requiring judicial warrants for ICE arrests in court houses. This new rule is unprecedented. New York is now the first state to bar ICE from making arrests in courts without a judicial warrant. And this rule is the result of that effort of the organizations that have been on the front lines on this issue, IDP, the Bronx Legal Services, and all the other legal organizations and advocacy groups. And I want to take a moment to congratulate them for this victory congrat and congratulate all New Yorkers who have been uh, chiming in on this issue. I want to commend them for continuing to fight for the rights of immigrants every day and to thank them for helping us to hold this federal administration accountable. But there's always more to be done, and though the new rule restricts arrests inside the courthouses, the Protect Our or Courts Act would extend even further by restricting arrests of individual individuals entering and exiting courthouses, bar courthouse entry to ICE without a judicial warrant, and grant a civil right of action to sue civil law enforcement for a courthouse arrest without a judicial warrant. So today, we will be voting on Resolution 828A, commending the New York State Office of Court Administration for promulgating rules that require a judicial warrant for any civil arrest in a New York State court, and calling on the state legislature to pass and the governor to sign the Protect Our Courts Act in order to pr further protect certain interest parties or people from civil arrest while going in uh, and remaining at or returning from the place of such court proceeding. The unchecked interference of ICE in the state court system endangers New Yorkers' access to due process and public safety. It removes criminal defendants from our jurisdiction, making it impossible for them to seek justice in their ongoing non-immigration related cases. It makes witnesses to crime and victims of crime less likely, likely to engage in the court system. This is unacceptable. And New York must do everything in its power to protect the sanctity of our justice system and our civic institutions. As such, I strongly encourage the committee members to vote yes on passing Reso 828A. So I want to thank the staff here uh, in the Immigration Committee, Council uh, Harbani Auja, Committee Policy Analyst Elizabeth Kronk, my staff, uh, including Chief of Staff Soshi Meng, Communications Director Tony Chirito, and the staff of the Justice System Committee. Okay, we're ready. Good morning. This is the Committee on Immigration's vote on Resolution 828A. We'll begin with Chairman Chaka. I vote yes. Councilwoman Chin. Aye. Councilmember Drum. Aye. Councilmember Moya. Aye. By a vote of four in the affirmative, zero negative, and zero abstentions, the item has passed. Thank you. We're going to leave the vote open for a few more minutes uh, as members come in. And uh, thank you to all the members for coming in today. Thank you. Thank you.